A couple of guys maybe more concerned with, I don't know, maybe Sean Palmer's retirement. You'd rather see that than Michael. It's a couple of gladiators. Just kidding here. Gladiators from Border X. We got Drew Nielsen and we got Ben Wainwright, both from Canada. You guys are part of a very proud tradition, right? Can you got to have some Maple Leafs on you? There's got to be some Maple Leafs because every Canadian is truly patriotic, right? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but no Maple Leaf tattoos, nothing? Uh, not yet, no. No, I'll just keep them on the boards. You guys are Whistler, right? Whistler, BC, that's a yep. part of the world that kind of rules the snowboarding right now. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic mountain. You guys also have, what, the kind of the new Canadian Air Force, the free skier, big air guys kind of hanging around. Must be a lot of fun. You kind of a reunion here of a lot of guys that you, you hang out with back home. Exactly. We uh, saw a lot of them at the camp up in the glacier this summer. We had uh, Johnny Mosley and some of the other, JFQ son. Uh, Shane Zox, Mike Douglas. The guys are ripping, they're going off, taking skiing to places it's never been before. It's is great it, to is see. this what you expected from your little Winter X experience? I don't mean being back here at the bar, but just necessarily <laughs> hanging out in Crested View is what you thought it'd be. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun here. Yeah, it's really cool seeing all the different events and the biker cross, that was amazing. You guys have empty glasses. They, they tell me Canadians <laughs> will try anything here. I want to offer you some syrup to kiwi, mixed with purple stuff, this here, and We'll see if Canadians will really... Will you, will you drink a shot of that? Will oh, you yeah. do it? Oh, yeah. You will? Oh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> On camera. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Right, There's it. no booze that in That stuff there. is six months old. Now, this is a family <laughs> bar. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are psyched about women's border X, right? Miley oh, yeah. Ricker's a oh, good yeah. friend of yours. Good friend of ours came down here with her. She's just ruling. She's on fire. And you guys both, you all kind of coach at a, at a snowboard camp together? Yes. Yeah, we uh, run a snowboard camp up in Blackcomb. It's called Glacier Snowboard Camps. And Drew and Mayel and Michael Chuck, and we all work there in the summer. It's a lot of fun. You, you mind hanging out because she's doing real well. So, oh, part of yeah. the Women's Border X, we're going to take you back up to the start gates. Mile Ricker, these guys are checking it out. You check it out too. We'll be right back. It's won every single heat except one. Back up on the mountain to Mike Adamley and company. We are set for the Women's Border X final. Let's go to the top. Chris Jamison with Mile Ricker. Mael, how has the track changed to you from qualifying, time trials, to now heading into the finals with six other people in the gate? Um, the berms are getting a little icier. The soft snow is being brushed off to the side, so there's some ruts. So you really got to dig your edge in and drive that back knee so you can follow through all the turns. Also, you just want to make sure you get that hole shot. My first run, I didn't get the hole shot. I had a couple problems, but I managed to pass over the step up. You can get the step up and just hold your nice smooth line. It should be all okay. What's your plan with the big step up then? Are you going to charge it no matter what, or do you have different line possibilities? Um, it's going pretty good so far. Every time I've done it, I've made it pretty easily. So unless I have a major foul up, I'm definitely going to go for it. And along with Chris Jamison, Mike Adamley, Greg Tomlinson, and Salema Masakela, the six finalists, there's one of them, Sarah Osterberg, third in her previous two heats. Jessica Dahl-Piaz didn't finish in last year's Border X. She plans on going the distance today. Leslie Olson, the dominator, looking to be the queen, the new queen of Border X. As good as Olson's been, however, Maya Ricker has been quicker. She's in lane four. So coming from either side of the draw, we finally get the matchup of the day between Leslie Olson in green and Maya Ricker in yellow. Next to those two, the rugby player from Canada, 22-year-old Candace Druin. She's been great so far in rounding out the field. Bend Oregon's Kimberly Bonsag. Yeah, we bad, we bad, and we set to go. Actually, Eric Hardy. Who will get the best pull from this BMX starting gate? A look from behind. Leslie Olson, the nervous moments before the start. Okay, riders, let's set them out. Riders ready. Watch the gate. We're underway and Maya Rickard in that yellow bib. She's out first again. Leslie Olsen's in second in the green bib. Oh, and at the top, Osterberg and Bonsack going down and off the course. All right, it's time for Olsen to reel in Ricker if she wants to win that gold medal. She needs to pump the whoops, keep her base flat, and maintain speed. Couple of turns and then to a series of rollers. We're coming Almost into roller derby lane. Side, GT. Olsen's really got to work these bumps right now to get her and then do the step up. Ricker in first, going over the step up. Olsen around. Olsen around and almost catches her. It's going to be neck and neck. As they head for Jack's jump. Mile Ricker in yellow. Leslie Olsen in green. And it's Ricker by the narrowest of margins. Mile Ricker, the new queen of women's border X. Oh, 
an incredible line by Leslie Olton, almost taking Ricker on a technically a faster line using that step up. And Olton almost catches her, goes a little smaller in the air, gets her base down quick, and then it's just an arm's length away. A golden performance by Canada's Mayal Ricker. She won all three of her races. Leslie Olson gets the silver, Candace Druin the bronze. It's Ladies Day down in the finish area. Here's Salema Masakela. Mayel Ricker and Leslie Olson first and second in the 99 Women's Border X. Mayel, tell us a little bit about that race. You guys were neck and neck. Yeah, um, I managed to get the whole shot, which was nice. And um, coming up to the step up at the end, I went for the step up, and Leslie had a super nice line going around the side and almost caught me. And I managed to stay ahead of her, and then she flew off the jump, so it was super close. It was rad. Yeah. Leslie, when you came around that, that berm there, did you think you almost had my own? Uh, I thought maybe. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. Like, pulling out at the start, I kind of hit the, the board. <laughs> so. All righty. Well, thanks a lot, you guys. We're about six inches apart. Here's your women's champions here for 99 Border X. Mayel Ricker and Leslie Olson proving the best way to travel in Border X is by air. So Canada rules women's Border X. A couple Canadian men's Border X gladiators here. Drew Nielsen, Ben Wainwright. Your buddy went. She's tough out. She, you can't keep her from getting a whole shot. No, Mayel's shooting off the start. She usually is out of the gate like a lightning bolt, and she's tough to catch. You had a shot before. You didn't have a shot. We're going to give you banana, amaretto, and coffee, and you guys can toast your Canadian countrywoman who wins yeah, the gold medal. Yeah, my Al. <laughs> Drink it up. He did it. You guys know JF Cousin, right? Oh, yeah. Fellow Canadian. He is chasing Johnny Mosley. Great competition. Men's Big Air. Mosley, the man to beat. I don't know if he expected this kind of a challenge from the new Canadian Air Force. We'll show you more of the Men's Big Air final from the Mocha Bar.